Hi, this is Richard with Advanced Security Integration Consultants, and today I'm going to show you how to add um, cards to your account so you can assign them to users so they can open and close doors. Okay, so the first thing you want to know is what your facility code for your cards is. And if you look on the box, on the bottom there it says 122, so that's the facility code. And then on your cards, um, you'll have a set of numbers in the top right and we want the first five numbers so that's 15471 this other card here is 15472 and our last card here is 15473 so that's the information that you'll want before you start adding cards to your system first thing we want to do is go ahead and set up the cards so we'll go to setup go down the cards and then go to add cards now the card format, depending on your card, should be a standard 26-bit. Um, you have to refer to your box that the cards came in, um, in case it's like a specialty type format. But for this demonstration, we're just using the standard 26-bit. Uh, the first card number will be the first five numbers of the card, uh, numbers on the card. So if you look at your card in the right-hand corner, for these cards, it's 15471. And then the last card we're going to do is 15473, giving us a total of three cards. And the facility code is 122. And we're going to add the cards. And it says that three cards have been added to the system. And we can double check it by going to Setup, Cards, and Card Bank. Here we can see that the 15471 is in there, 72 is in there, and 73. Uh, they haven't been assigned to anybody yet, so that's what we're what we're gonna do now. Um, you could hit the little icon here for the guy, and that'll take you straight to the add um, user page. But we're just gonna go to users, and then go down the users, and now we're gonna do new user. So we'll go ahead and give this person a name. So we'll do John Doe, or actually we'll do Jane Doe. Last name done. And then we're going to hit Save Identity. And then that's going to give us our identity page. From here, we can put in an email address. We can put in a phone number. We can upload a photo. So we're just going to upload a photo from the web. So we get this photo here. So now we have Jane Doe. There's the photo. We can put in a uh, phone number and email. And if we go to credentials and we go to card bank and we choose, we can assign her one of the three cards. So we'll give her the first card, the 7-1. And that card is there, 15471. And if your keypad supports a PIN number, you can put in the PIN number. Um, so we'll just do 0001 and we'll save the PIN. The, the card reader that I'm using does have a, a, a pen pad on it. And then we're going to go to groups and assign her a group. Um, right now, I'm going to assign her to staff. So whatever the staff can access in the building is what she can access. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go to activity. And I'm going to present the card 15471 to the card reader. Okay, so it shows that Jane Doe swiped the card at 345. It came from the ASIC demo location and it was the front door. And if you were to do it again, again it shows that she swiped the card and on all the information is there. Now, if we wanted to take her back out of the system, we can go to users, find her name, and then just do the delete, and that would take her out of the system. And if we wanted to delete the card that she had, we would just go to cards, delete cards, and we could put her number in. And if we wanted to delete, to delete all three of those cards, we could put the end number in. 
output. That's how you add cards to the system.